Hi, my name is Michael. I work as application manager in Grundfos, mainly working with the industry and the products we use for that. The standards here, as we have it here, can go up to 120 degrees Celsius. And what the sets the limit for that is actually the shaft seal that we have in here, at the cover here, sitting in here, pointing in the pump. If we go higher than 120 degrees Celsius, then the lifetime of the shaft seal will start to go down. So if you are in boiler applications or other applications where you have hot liquids and you want to go higher than 120 degrees Celsius, you have to do something to protect the shaft seal against it. So now we'll just push the standard one out here and take the air cooled top solution in. I have taken the motor up just to make it easier for me when I take it apart. But as you can see what have changed, basically it's the same pump down here, but we have put this top chamber on, there's the air cooled top chamber. We don't have that over here. Still, you can see the shaft sheet is sitting in the top, and it's also in the top here. The idea about the air cool top is that we have the liquid we are pumping down here, 180 degrees Celsius maybe. Then we have an air separation chamber that isolates the top chamber away, where we have the water. There is only 120 degrees maximum. What happens is that the water we are pumping is going up to a narrow space between the shaft and some gaskets up to this top chamber. When it's up there, it cannot get away and it's been cooled down by the big uh, surface of the pump and the ambient the temperature we have. So this is why it's called the air cool top. And by that way, we take the shaft seal to, and actually remove it away from the hot liquid and up where it only sees the 120 degrees Celsius maximum. And then it will survive. Besides the top chamber, there is a change more on the air cool top. And that is, that is this automatic air vent valve we have here. The only thing that actually do is to make sure if we get any air up to the top chamber, it automatically comes out so we don't have dry running on the shaft seal. So now I try to take it apart and I have prepared a little bit because I have loosened the nuts and so on and the shaft seal I can just take out here. So as you see it's a standard axe shaft seal we have. Taking the top off and that is also prepared. Now we are coming into the air cool top part you can say, because what I've taken off now is just the standard pump part more or less. This top chamber, the part of that was to of course close the pump off with the 180 degrees Celsius uh, liquid, making the air separation chamber and then the top chamber. So now I need to create that air cooling or air separation chamber you can say, and that I have down here. Whatever is below this plate here is the traditional 180 degrees of water. Here I have the air room and you can see we have actually special knots here, meaning there is hole into so air can go in and out of this air room here. You can see the two of these knots in here are special ones where they are open out to the atmosphere so I'm sure there is air in here to isolate. The other tools we have are traditional plugs where you can air wind and you can put in a pressure transmitter or whatever you want to have in there and measure. To make it closed here I have this top I put on. So now we have the air chamber in there, the shaft is coming up to the top chamber and up to the motor. Then I put the standard pump top on and then I have the area where the water or the liquid is standing still and being cooled down by the ambient temperature. This is how an air cooled top is working. If you want to have more information then please go into grundfos.com where you can look into the Grundfos product center with all our products in. There you can find the data book, the service manual, the INO and so on with more information about the CI air cool top. For example, you can find out what sizes do we have them in, what materials can you get it in and so on. So please look into that uh, because this was just a fast introduction to how it works.